Stop. Just stop. I was. No. That was just rude. No, because like I, I see where this is going, and and no, that it it goes. <clears throat> let me let me let me hit it for you. Let me hit it for you. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go. I'm gonna stop you right there. Is this payback for Pokemon? You're damn right. You know that's just petty ass assness. That's what he'll just do, baby. Churlish, petty, petty ass, petty assness. Call me Petty Hardaway. I don't even want to do the intro. Just play my music. They can pretty much guess from the opener what we're doing. It's Aladdin, people. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go. Let's all go. Let's 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 all go to the lobby. Webster's Dictionary defines unnecessary as not necessary, more than is needed, excessive. You know what else, you know what else is unnecessary? If you're a speechwriter, starting a speech with Webster's Dictionary defines. You know what else is unnecessary? Aladdin. This damn movie. Completely and totally unfriggin' necessary. Yeah, so I just have a quick question. With these live animations, so to speak, if that's what you want to call it. No, it's not animation, because this movie is anything but animated. Okay, well, live action, whatever the hell you want to call it. Mm-hmm. My question with that is, are they just saying F you? Has Disney just said F you and your childhood memories and all of what you loved about the cartoon and we're just going to shit all over it? I'm going to stop you there because I'm going to make two real quick points. Just but, two two real quick points. Okay. Uh, uh, on that. On that note right there. On that note right there. Mm-hmm. One. It's a little bit hard to do because it's not like they're throwing away the stuff that we like from the Disney vault. Are they and, though? I mean, I like they, they got their whole Disney Plus thing, so we get to. So if you want to shell out the whatever amount of money, I gotta that, wait that you till got. the freaking end of the month. So screw Disney right now. Okay, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with it. I'm just like, saying. We have I'm no just saying. Like right now, we're not on. I'm just terms. saying. And on the second part. This is, of course, it's a cash grab. Nobody's going. Nobody's going to say anything else. It's a cash grab. But Disney has been really, really fugazi with the whole copyright thing, and that you can't help but feel like a lot of these live action things are going to be used to ensure that nobody else can use these properties. Nobody else can make an Aladdin movie or show or anything. Nobody else can make a, a Beauty, Beauty and the, the Beast. Beast. Nobody else can make a Little Dumbo. Mermaid or a Dumbo. Nobody else can tell these stories because, hey, just as they're just as they're starting to lose the ability to hold on to it, you drop an unnecessary another live action unnecessary. adaptation. Yeah, Very another, unnecessary. Another. This movie is unfriggin' necessary. Like. I'm I'm not even gonna do our our good bad thing that we usually do, mm-hmm. uh, because really there's like maybe too good and everything else about this movie is damn bad. Primarily, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit you with 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 the things that they the things that they did wrong and the things that they changed, and if those changes were good, can can, can, can we go with that? Yeah, can we go yes, with that? I so guess. so if you have seen the Robin Williams. Aladdin. If you've seen that, then you know about the whole intro, uh, the song Arabian Nights, the the storytelling merchant, talking to the audience. You know all about that. And then you know all about how we are introduced, not just to Aladdin, but also to Jasmine. And it, it 
sets who those characters are. It shows that Aladdin is, yeah, he's a street rat, he's a thief, but he has a good and kind heart and everything that he does holds weight to it. And yes, Jasmine it wants to be outside of the palace, but she's strong headed. Uh, she's also a little bit naive mm -hmm. about the way the world works. And it takes time to set this up. I want to, I, I don't have it in front of me right now, but I want to say it took like a good maybe 15 minutes to set all this up to, to tell you who Aladdin is, who Jasmine is, who Jafar is, and all of that straight up, right? Mm -hmm. This movie gets that done in five minutes. Over, like, like we get introduced to these characters through the course of the song Arabian yeah, Nights. Within five minutes. We get introduced to Jafar, like, without actually... Being introduced. Being introduced to, to Jafar. Jafar within the same song of Arabian Nights, then we get introduced to to Aladdin's character and Jasmine's character with just another couple minutes remaining, and we go right into uh, the Street Rat song in the bazaar. And that's kind of indicative of what this, what one thing that's wrong with this movie, it pushes and rushes certain things to the point where it loses the narrative weight and the emotional weight that you got when it comes to the the animated version of this movie. Okay. Mm. They added political intrigue out of nowhere. It was highly, as, as we said, unnecessary. Uh, completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. A lot of it was unnecessary. Like I'm not I'm not gonna drop any spoilers, but like no. like through dialogue we found out not not that the mother is just gone and it let us fill in the blanks of how that happened. They had to explicitly tell us the mother is dead. Again, and something killed. we didn't need. It we exactly. didn't need it because we didn't get it in the cartoon, which I understand the adaptation and trying to modernize it. Or just because, make it your own, too. Right. And I, I got that. I got that. And I appreciate how they were making Jasmine this formidable character. Oh, we're going to get to that in a second. We're going to okay. get to that in a second. We're going to get to that in a second. We definitely going to get to that in a second. Uh -huh. the, 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 but... Having to explicitly say certain things that were implied or we as kids were able to fill in the blanks with, right. that's another thing that's wrong with this movie. They don't let anything just be and let you, the audience, fill in those blanks no. and let your imagination run through because Aladdin was an imaginative movie and this one is just like, oh, hey, the mother's gone. Why is she gone? She was killed. Yeah. And you're just like, why did you need to change that? Why did you need to add that? You I, could have just said the mother's just, gone. That was it. Like, none of that had to matter at all. And there's no no actual, like, payoff to, to, to make it worth having in the movie as a bit of dialogue. Yeah. None of that mattered. At all. So it was highly unnecessary. Very. Then we get to the musical numbers. So, the musical numbers... Will Smith can sing. He can sing. Can he? Can he really? Can he really sing? Because what the... What was he doing with singing? I, I don't know. Was he singing? Motherfucker started beatboxing. That's not singing. This motherfucker beatbox. And I didn't hate it because I actually kind of liked it, but it was jarring. Yeah. It was jarring as it hell. It didn't fit. So, so. They could, okay, I think I would have liked it better if they would have just let Will Smith do Will Smith's thing. Oh, that's a, okay. So every time. So that's, I think that's a part of what irritated me with this movie. It was like. Are you forcing him to sing? Like what? Yeah, yeah. Like you probably could have had him rap this, and it would have still been cool, and it still could have had the same feeling that we had with the cartoon. That's our third point. Will Smith tried his best. Will Smith really tried. Like he could have phoned this in, but Will Smith yeah. is probably the only saving grace. For this movie, the middle part, the middle part, the, you you can't you can't say no. 
The middle part mm, in some was full sections. of laughs. I'm gonna say, some sections. I know. I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like the middle okay. part was full of laughs when okay. Will Smith was around, and it he wasn't showed... just Will Smith. It was also Jasmine's maid hand. Okay, yeah. She, she. You know, what? I'm gonna pull her name up too. Hold on. Yeah, she was pretty good. She was very good, actually. Yeah, Nassim Pedrai. Yeah, but Nassim Pedrai played Dahlia. Yeah, and Will Smith and Dahlia. A. Okay. Okay. Uh. They were how, do I, cool. how, do I, how do I explain this? So so Dahlia was great in this movie. Yeah. A character that that is just for this adaptation. And she was amazing. I loved seeing her on screen. I really did. Whenever she and Will Smith shared a scene, it was, it was funny. great. It was yeah. funny. It was lighthearted. I loved it. It... <sighs> It's just that's 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 like one of the that's big that's one of the big pluses, but like like it, Will Smith tried, but he never felt like he it never really felt like he was consistently being Will Smith playing the genie. A lot of it felt like Will Smith playing Robin Williams playing the genie. Yes, and that's, and I thought that was just me. No, but it wasn't. that was like okay, what are they doing? Like like. A like lot of times the, the singing, dialogue was like, I'm like a lot of the dialogue was pace for pace yeah. the exact same dialogue with the same As Robin with the same Williams. delivery. Right. And you're just like, okay, are you gonna let Will Smith be Will Smith? Because when Will Smith is Will Smith, he's at good. least entertaining yes. and funny, but then it feels like you had to rein him in, just be like, Okay, this is how Robin did it. So you gotta do it exactly like yes. that. And every time it felt like it felt like when when Will Smith was playing the genie like on screen it, in Uncanny Valley and it yeah. was did not need to happen it didn't it definitely need to happen didn't need to happen so that's that's a third knock against it Will Smith wouldn't wasn't allowed to be Will Smith no. and when he should have just been allowed to be Will Smith yeah and again bruh man like Robin Williams wasn't like the most amazing singer out there but like no, they, but he they, made you could tell own. when you could tell when the auto tune was straining on this bruh you could tell yeah. you could tell when it's just like okay you're not hitting that note but you can hear the correction and you're just like just 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 let him just let him be just let him be you guys could have just let, just him, let him be, be Will Smith uh, they added some as i said they added some new things uh to this movie uh, not all of them were bad. Uh, for instance, they gave Jasmine, played by um, Naomi Scott, they gave Jasmine a lot more to do uh, with this movie, and it made her a stronger character, somebody who was more than just a prize and somebody who was taken along for the ride. They really made that work, and they had to change the story just a little bit to make it work, and I did not hate the changes that no, they I made didn't. to the story. I didn't either. Yeah, Jasmine was, was fun. Yeah, she, I like Jasmine. She was fun. I liked Aladdin. Uh, I, I enjoyed Aladdin. And that's that's my other knock. Uh, uh, I don't think their chemistry was the best. Yeah, that's what it is. Man, I'm a suit But I, Aladdin. I enjoyed Aladdin. I did. I didn't enjoy Def Jafar. Okay, okay. We're going to get to Jafar. We are definitely going to get to freaking Jafar. This frick-ass mother freaking frickin'. frickin'. <laughs> okay, so Aladdin in the beginning, I could not connect with this dude. You could really? You you really gonna ask me that when they when I they could not connect with Will Smith? No, I'm talking about like in terms of me caring about him because he felt like drywall at the I beginning. Think that's how they threw him in. That, that's how they threw him in. I'm yeah. saying like at the very beginning, Aladdin was drywall. Yeah, and then they threw him into a song that just happened out of nowhere and. That's my other bad point to this. It does kind of take you out the movie. It takes a you out of the bit. movie, but like for for a movie that wants to be like, hey, let's let's do this 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 uh, reimagining this adaptation that's live action. We have this amazing bouncy, you know, all over the place animation to contend with, mm -hmm. and instead of trying to do that, instead of trying to just like turn into that, everything felt so contained. Yeah. Like, take a look at your shoulders. Like how how like your imagine your arms never leaving your side. Your arms never extend outside out past your shoulders. That's how a lot of this movie felt. Yeah, like like when Will was. Smith was playing the genie, it felt like 
he was animating himself with his elbows against his side and his hands moving, and it just never yeah, felt CGI as bouncy. I was kind of shitty. Like, like they they tried with the CGI, they really did. It wasn't the worst thing. Uh, that wasn't that that actually wasn't the most uh, uh, you really like the annoying Superman thing. with the beard. No, that that wasn't that bad. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate the CGI. I hated the fact that. Will Smith is supposed to be playing this really big, bouncy, bombastic character. And they didn't let him. And it's like, again, it felt like he was acting while his arms were stuck at his side. Yeah. It never felt big. It never felt huge. There were some instances where it's like, yeah, he went into it. But like, the only reason why you remembered him is because it contrasted with everything else just being so self-contained in this little bubble. It felt like he yeah. was, it felt like he was playing the genie in the lamp in the lamp. Yeah, it kind of did. Throughout all of this. Yeah. And it, it wasn't just him. A lot of the musical numbers, like, they, they really wanted you to to really get that, that Prince Ali stick. They really yeah. wanted you to, like, pay attention and care about it. And a lot of the dancers did an amazing, like, the, the, Oh, yeah. Like, the, the dancing, Bollywood dancing yeah, was that awesome. Was, that was great, but it still kind of felt contained. It still kind of felt like it was roped down. It was bound yeah, to itself. it did. And that, that, really, that really made this movie... There were so many missed opportunities because the sets are beautiful. Yeah. The dancing is beautiful. Uh, the atmosphere is amazing. Random then, ass black people being put in. Just, 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 just throwing random, random black chicks going. I understand like, it's Middle Eastern. Ah, Siggy scrumptious. Yeah, I, I understand it being Middle Eastern. I'm not knocking that. And yes, I do know, darker skin people are in the Middle East. Watching this movie, you basically just see random ass black. People. It just kind of like peppered in, just like yeah. It was like, like, oh, yeah, oh. There well, you let's are. Stay, yeah, let's stay with this uh, culture since we're here. There you go. You got one right there. You got one right there. It, was, it just, just didn't let me just, fit. Let me, just, let me just pep you in. Like, it just irritated the shit out of me. I'm just like, yeah. we just got random black people in. T- what? Just kind of just kind of throw them in. Um, Can we get to Jafar? Yes, I'll let you do the Jafar. Okay, oh, my God. Jafar had no menacing presence. attributes he about had no presence. him. There was no presence with Jafar. Nothing. Okay, you know the animation Jafar. He was a freaking dick. Oh, 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 oh. Egregious thing with Jafar. They changed his motivation like a motherfucker. Wait a minute. You know the animation Jafar. Yeah. He was a dick. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what we loved about that Jafar. Why didn't we get this in the movie? Like, I kind of felt like Jinder Mahal should have played Jafar. (laughs) And I'm not saying that because of where it was in the location. I'm saying that because Jinder Mahal plays a badass menacing character in WWE. Like he's annoying as shit. (laughs) Like he irritates you, but he's a heel. Yeah, this this Jafar was. Like, why didn't you guys just call him and have him play Jafar? This Jafar was watching paint dry. I, uh, I, oh my god! I really, I was really rooting for Jafar, and I'm like, okay, maybe because he's the Vizier and he has to seem like you know as even keel as possible. But like, towards the end of the climax, this motherfucker didn't move. He did not move. He didn't do shit. Jafar did not move. He was not throughout the whole climb. You remember the climax with the snake? I'm gonna get to that in a second. You remember the climax where the snake was going around? He's throwing puns and he's just like throwing everything at everybody and making everybody. This motherfucker just like all he did was move his staff, and that was the totality of the climax with Jafar. Maybe I'm spoiling. I don't give a shit. This motherfucker. Yeah, it was an F oh, like my, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, like the ending of Beauty oh and the Beast. God. It was like F you. And Iago is his name. You know, Iago, you want to you yes. know why you don't remember his name? They don't say the parent's name in the whole movie. That's another thing. Iago was annoying as shit. And not in a good way. Not in the not in the Gilbert Gottfried way. No, Iago was Iago. That's what made it. That's why we liked Iago and Jafar. They could have just left this motherfucker out. They could have left they Jafar left out. and Iago out. I mean, like, like they needed the Jafar. They needed to recast Jafar, but like they, they could have left Iago to pair it out. That that was unnecessary. Again, everything about this movie is freaking. You know, let's go to the score. Let's go to the score. Dean, what you got? 
Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna give it two stars because I know who they were targeting, and I got that. You are lenient. Yeah. You are incredibly lenient. But I'm really pushing on one and a half. You are incredibly freaking. I mean, lenient. originally when the movie started, like we didn't even get five minutes in, I was already like a zero. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, so I'm gonna give it a two. And I'm just gonna I, I'll leave take it at two. that. I'll take your yeah. two and I'll drop it down. I the only fun that I had in this movie was watching my sister's reactions to everything that she loved about the original just being shat on. Yep. Like like musical scenes that just like felt bland, character arcs that just were like unnecessary. Talk about a sister irritated through the whole she movie. She was irritated. Like she turned away from me. Like she was mad. And that's the only reason why I was laughing at some of those parts. Will Smith got Will Smith got to be Will Smith. He like oh, reprised he a lot of his roles in the middle of the movie. He got to be Will Smith in the middle of the movie. Uh, uh, Dahlia showed up, uh, had a much bigger role, and they showed some chemistry, and that was fun to watch. I liked how they did uh, Jasmine. I really did. I liked the way that they went for it because she stopped being just like a prize for Aladdin to win. Mm -hmm. She had her own goals. She had her own ambitions. I loved that. I think they could have done a better job uh, with, with juggling that newness with Jafar's motivations yeah, they and with the have. Sultan, because the Sultan, like, he also... He didn't bother me. He was fine, because like, he was this... I mean, that was the role he had in the animation, and they kept that. Uh, it is. Uh, he was a little funnier in the animation, and I wish they would He was made more him. childlike in the animation, yeah, and that's and what made him right. much more fun. And this one, he's like, okay... He actually has his shit together. And when the Sultan has his shit together, that means, it's like, it, 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 yeah, it's not as fun. It's not as fun when the no. Sultan has his shit together. Because, like, then what the fuck is Jafar here for? Right. Like, like the whole point of, of the Jafar-Sultan di uh, dichotomy is, like, the Sultan is, like, so childlike, he can be easily taken advantage of. Yeah. And that's what Jafar does. He easily takes advantage, advantage of, of the Sultan. This one is, like, the yeah. Sultan is, like, taking no shit from Jafar. And you're just like, why the fuck are you even here then? Yeah. If you could just be sent back to the fucking dungeons on his word. Yeah. Like, why are you in here? Then why are you even fucking plotting? You should be fine right now yeah. with your position. But yeah. fuck it. I'm giving it a one. I'm giving it a one. It's not a zero because they actually tried on so many parts. Yeah. They tried on 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 the set designs. They tried on the dancing choreography. I loved it. Uh, some like added like some new songs, which I didn't really give a shit about. Uh, but the songs that they worked yeah. on, they, that, that we actually had, they weren't bad they weren't bad yeah. again at worst they just made you really think about going back and watching the movie they make you hate it but it just made you want to go okay I, I i'd rather i'd rather watch, watch the, the old yeah. old animation because like they hit whole new world i'm yeah. like oh that gave me goosebumps because not because of what i saw on the screen but because it hit me in my nostalgia yeah bone. and i'm just like holy shit when was the last time i actually sat down and watched aladdin yeah and that's all it made that's all that made me remember but like don't see this movie. Don't 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 reward Disney for their mediocrity. Yeah. Do not do it. Um, hold on one second, because because I because I I, I I I can't remember her name, and I love her. She uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna pause. I'll let you talk real quick about anything. A whole new world. Not that. That's where we'll be. A thrilling place. The perfect chase. Okay, I'm gonna stop you. For I'm you stopping you. I'm, I'm click. Me. Wow, she just insubordinate. Lindsay Ellis. That's who it is. She she did an amazing. I'm gonna put that in the of that link in the description of 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 the video when it pops up on YouTube. Lindsay Ellis did a, a great uh, rundown about uh, uh, Aladdin and Robin Williams and their deal with the whole marketing thing. And it just feels weird to, to watch that video and then see this movie and just see how much of a farce it is compared to the original. Yeah. And I'm just like, don't reward them. Don't do it. Do not, do not out of your, like we had to do it because we have to review. Like, yeah. It's like if we, us. if we could have, 
if we I could have, we would have, we would have either skipped it or got it for free. But we would not have spent our money. But we had to if we wanted to review this, and we want, you know, we want, we have to build, we have to grow, and yeah, that's to, just us. Yeah, you have to comment, like, and subscribe below. Too. Yeah, yeah, please do. Please help us build and grow. Yeah. Uh, but you. Don't see this movie. Don't see it out of curiosity. Don't see it out of hate. Don't see it to just be like, oh man, this sucked. This really sucked. I had to just see if it's no. Don't see this movie. Go and watch the animated version. They tried, but it's like feeling the the sinister cynicism that made them try. And I I don't don't see it. Don't see it. Just just don't don't see it. I I don't have a funny bit. To put out here, I'm just gonna say kaiju out. Just don't see this movie. A whole new world. No, we're cutting it off. Bye.